Okay, um, hello everyone, good evening and welcome to another episode of um, Eat Right and Fresh. And um, I remain Obina Odensi, your favorite host. And I'm sure today is going to be very fantastic for all of us. The, the last time we talked about the enemies to nutrition, where I explained the very first most prominent enemy to nutrition, which is peeling. And I explained to you, and I'm sure you have not seen that video, I want you to quickly go back and check the very first number one enemy to nutrition and find out the stuff I shared about tuber crops. I mean, crops that are going underneath the soil and they include them, um, the yam, the carrots, and the ginger, okay? These are tuber crops grown underneath the soil and you don't have to peel them. Their major nutrients lies on their skin and slightly beneath their skin. And what I did on the last video was to show you how to prep them, okay? And today I'm gonna to be talking about the second enemy to nutrition, which is called cooking in water, okay? The second enemy to nutrition that we have that people make in the kitchen, I mean, one of the mistakes people make in the kitchen while preparing their food is cooking in water, okay? Today I'm gonna to be explaining to you how water, not just being a blessing, can also be a problem in a cooking process. Okay, I want you to agree with me that water is a dilutant. What it means is that water, whenever it comes in contact with anything, it dilutes it. Let me give you instances. Sometimes when you're making your stew, you experience that it's quite thick. What do you need to do to reduce the thickness? You add water. If you're eating, if you're tasting any drink and it's too tasty, what you need to do is to dilute it. Okay, this is what water does to our food. When water comes in contact with its vegetables, most importantly, it reaches away their major nutrients. Okay, that's over 20% of their nutrients, the vitamins and minerals, the vitamins and minerals, by the way. And then when it takes away this thing, what we now do to replace the taste that they are taking away, the vitamins that they are taking away is to introduce MSG, seasonings, things you don't need in your food, all these addictives, okay? You introduce them to replace the taste that you've taken away from your food. And before I start, I'm going to be doing what we call the carrot test, okay? I'm going to be doing the carrot test to show you how water leaches away the nutrients in our food. Okay, remember I've already prepped this carrot on the other video where I took my time to prep on the running tap. I brushed with this vegetable brush. That means this is ready for me to consume. Why did I wash on the running tap? Because I don't have to scrape. And the only way I can be sure I am eating a clean carrot is to buy this brush like I recommended and then brush thoroughly on the running tap. So right now I'm going to just show you how to find out if water is really a liter. But before I continue, I have this wonderful piece to share with you. I am using the world famous Salad Master food processor to prepare my food. Like you can see, all the cookwares I am using here, they're actually precision conscious. This is the best cookware in the world. I am not saying it for you to patronize me or anything, but this is the best. Right? When I mean the best, it is the best in the world. I'm going to be giving you so many reasons why it is the best. By the way, the interior part of these cookwares, they are made with titanium 316 stainless steel, which is the only metal that is compatible with the human body. This is the only metal that is pure. It does not leach into your food, it does not corrode, and it retains all the nutrients in the food. It has a vapor valve system that allows you, if your food is cooking above the certain heat you should cook with. This cookware has been engineered to protect you and your family, okay? I know there are so many things you don't know about cooking, which I'll be explaining on this channel, but these guys are actually the best, okay? They protect you, they guide you on how to do the cooking, and they make life very easy. They save you time, by the way, okay? So I'm using the world famous food processor. This is the very first machine that Salad Master introduced in 1947, one year exactly after the business started, okay? Halalemos wanted more families to eat vegetables. The idea is to help people save time, eat healthy meals and stay stronger, okay? So that's how we got the name Salad Master and because of how effective it is over the years, people knew us as masters of salad, hence we had the name Salad Master. It has five cones and each of these cones can give us over 50 shapes and sizes. Can you imagine that? Like this particular cone I'm holding can shred over 50 vegetables in different shapes and sizes. Okay? And then it's very simple to use. It also comes with a double walled bowl, which means if I put hot water here, I don't have to fill it outside this place. Can you imagine that? And then it has three suction pads, which allows it to lap properly on the surface of it, on the dry surface. You don't have to move. It remains where it is until I'm done using it. It is heavily cone plated and I can easily dismantle it in case I want to travel, as you can see, so it is very simple. And it's manually operated. You don't have to use electricity to use this. And then let me also let you know, it cuts your kitchen time into 
that is having over 10 chefs cutting or shredding your vegetables for you. So I'm going to be using the cone number one to show you how to use the Salad Master food processor. And then to use this is very simple. We'll go clockwise to fix and then we'll go anti-clockwise to remove. Very simple, okay? Like I said, this is the best machine you need in your kitchen. If you want to save time, if you want to have more and less, this is what you need. You can make salad for 100 persons in five minutes. Is that not surprising? Okay, like I said, you have to go clockwise to fix, and then anti-clockwise to remove. Okay, and then you don't also have to worry about the blade getting blunt because the more you use, the sharper it becomes. So I'm going to be using this carrot to show us how water leaches away the vitamins and minerals in our food. Now, whenever you're eating your food, you have to look out for two things. The first thing is the flavor, and the second thing is the color. If you have an option of eating two kinds of food, I have a colored food and a white food. I would recommend you eat the colored food because it has more antioxidants, and these are things you need from your food. So I'm going to quickly remove my glasses so that I pay more attention to my cooking. So I have to just do this quickly. So I'll, I need to wash my hand again and then wash up my carrot. So I'll just wash my hand and wash my carrot again, and then we'll start. Okay, so like I said guys, you don't have to scrape your carrot for any reason, because most of the nutrients lies on the core or beneath the skin. So I'm just going to quickly use the cone number one to show you what water does to our food. Now I want you to see how simple it is to use this machine. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? It has been shredded into a very beautiful shape. Now think about this. How long will it take you to shred your carrots into this form? Think about it. Think about it. Okay? So, but because you're subscribed to this channel and because you're seeing this presentation, I'm going to make sure that maybe if you're interested, I could send you this piece to your home for free, by the way. But if you need to end this machine, all you need to do is to give me a call on the comment section. I need to click the link attached to the description box to connect with me and I'll tell you and also arrange on how to deliver this piece of machine to your family. Okay, now you can see how colorful this carrot is. We'll have the color intact. Um, if you have your own carrot at home, I would want you to just have a taste. Mm. Mm. That's so nice. Can you see that? Okay, this carrot has the taste intact and it has the color intact. Now, whatever I need from this carrot is still intact. If I want the better carotene, whatever it is I need for my eyesight, whatever nutrient this carrot has is still intact. I can actually vouch that this carrot can do whatever it is it was bought to do. But there's something we do in the kitchen for people, for some family, when they buy their vegetables, remember this guy represents all the tuber crops and vegetables they buy from the market. I'm trying to show you the second enemy to nutrition, which is cooking in water, by the way. So, let me assume this is your vegetable, let me also assume this is your yam. Remember, they belong to the same class, okay, from what I explained to you. So let me assume this is your carrot, this is your vegetable, and this is your yam. And then you shred your vegetable. Yeah, for some families, they will say, no, 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 Bina, I don't shred and wash. I wash before I shred. Amazing, you're right, okay? But for those who don't know, whenever you shred the vegetable and wash them, you wash away the chlorophyll, which is what you need from the vegetable. Now, for those who, shred, who wash before the shred, you're right. I'm also going to explain something you need to also be careful about, which is the high heat. That's for the next video. But for those who don't know, whenever you shred your vegetable and then you wash them, you're washing away the most important thing you need in the vegetable. That's quite destructive. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you what happens whenever you introduce water to your vegetable. Now, I have eaten this carrot and it's quite crunchy. Whatever I need in this carrot is intact and I still want more. Okay? If you give me a lot of these vegetables, I will eat them because the natural flavor is still intact. Apart from being tasty, the taste that I get is also important for my well-being. I'm going to just get my spoon. Sorry, I need to get the spoon. Okay. Amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to get this spoon and I'm going to introduce water. Please, can you come closer, please? I'm going to introduce water to this carrot. But I have a very simple question. How long do you cook your yam? I want to show you what water does to the nutrients in our food. How long do you cook your yam? For some people, they cook for 10, 15, some people 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on the kind of yam you want to cook. 
for some people who watch the vegetable that are shredding, you watch two or three times to make sure that the dirt is out. Okay, but right now I'm not going to subject this carrot to heat. There is no heat I subjected this carrot to. This is still a warm water. It is a room temperature water, by the way, I fetch from the tap. I'm just going to wash this carrot for just two seconds. Hmm? Did I say two seconds? Let me just say 30 seconds. Let me assume I'm cooking my yam. This is a cooking process, by the way. This is just a sample. I'm not even subjecting this thing to heat. I'm just going to wash. And then what do I do after we're done washing? For those who cook their yam, when you're done cooking your yam, what do you do? You sieve away the water content. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? This is not juice, by the way, okay? This is the color of the carrots going away. And nutritionists have said that whenever you lose color, you've lost vitamin. Whenever you lose flavor, you've lost the mineral in your food. So now let's look at this carrot again. The first one we had. Did you see any difference? Now, I'm going to ask you a very simple question. If you're left with an option to trash any of these guys, which one would you trash first? Let's believe you don't know what I've shared with you right now, and you are left to make a decision. Which of these guys would you let go? Yeah, before now, I will let this guy go and I will eat this guy. But that's quite wrong. Okay? Everything I need in this carrot is here. The beta carotene. This is where the vitamins and the minerals in the carrot is. But so for some women who know how to cook, who are very good with culinary, who have good culinary skills, what I'm going to do at this point is to start spicing this carrot. This is where I need all the, that for some women, they want to stir fry, do so many things to make sure they replace the taste that they've taken away from the food. Now think about it. You wonder why you have constipation and digestion when you eat your food. You've subjected your food to a lot of pressure. You've denied yourself the things you're supposed to eat. Think about it. It takes you, so for people who depend on the salary to feed, your 30 day salary and then you go to the market and then you shop for all these items and when you come to your kitchen you destroy them please 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 i'm going to show you how you can cook your yam right away without adding a single drop of water to it using the salad master culinary system okay i'm going to be showing you by the way if i also want to cook without using this system i can also cook directly and it will cook properly okay and then remember the goal is to give you a low gi food that's the plan to give you a low gi food okay when i'm done preparing this yam it's going to become a low glycemic index food which is actually healthy for diabetic patients okay so right now this is what i need in my carrots this is what i need for a healthy lifestyle this is what i need from this carrot not this guy okay so if we have to let anybody go from our kitchen this guy has to leave because there's nothing left inside this guy we've taken away everything we need and this is it let me show you hmm. Very nice. I can't eat this guy, okay? That's trash. Okay, so right now I'm going to just start cooking the yam. Okay, I'm going to be using the Salad Master 3 pot and basket to cook my yam. Remember, you can't buy Salad Master anywhere, any shopping mall in the world. If you need to have this healthy cooking equipment, all you need to do is to contact me on the description box, okay? I'm using these two cookers to prepare the yam. This one will stay beneath and this will stay on top. And for those who know about steaming, this is not actually steaming because steaming requires high heat. I'm going to be cooking this yam below the boiling point. Okay? So I'm not going to allow any kind of heat to come into this food. By the way, it cooks in a semi vacuum system. That means if I'm cooking, it locks up. Okay? And nobody leaves this place. No atom of smoke leaves this place. Everybody stays intact. Whatever I need in this food has to be intact. Okay? So what do I need to do? Remember, we've already prepped this yam. And whatever I use is original. This is a titanium knife from Salad Master. All thanks to PR Transform for making all these things available. So, um, like I said, I'm going to just cut my yam. No, I've already prepped this yam. Can you see how neat it is? The last time we prepped it and I had to put it in the refrigerator and it is still fresh. Okay? I'm just going to cut off this part. Sorry, I'm not a chef. I'm <laughs> just a food coat. I'm going for chef classes so I could learn how to do more with food and how to prepare more, okay? So I'm just going to just do this and then cut my yam. It depends on how you want your yam to be. Okay. Guys, you need to be very careful about the last place your food touches. They have to be very precision conscious because 
most of the cookwares that are available in the market like the non-stick pan, they have the PFOA, the aluminum pot, all these things that it out chemicals into your food. And I'm sure if you get to see all these chemicals, you wouldn't let your loved ones ever eat them. So what do I do right now? I'm just going to throw in this yam. Okay, so even if you fill up this thing to the brim, they'll cook at the same time and I'll also get them at the same time. Okay, so what do I do at this point? I'm just going to add a little drop of water to this place. Can you please come? Please come. Let's do this. Just get me from there. Okay, so I just have to fetch a little water because I can't put a dry pan. And what am I trying to achieve with this? I want to detach the yam. Okay, I want to detach the yam. I want to discharge the yam. Can you see that? It is not coming in contact with the yam. Okay, can you see that? That's a little water. And it's not coming in contact with the yam. Did you see that? So at this point, what I want to achieve keeping my yam this way is to discharge it. And by the way, if I'm doing this so this food can be a low GI food, but if I just want to cook my yam to have all the starch intact, I have to throw this water away and then cook this yam directly. Okay? So right now, I'm just going to take this yam to the cooker and then now I'm going to be cooking in two processes this heat is quite high for my cooking so I'm just going to reduce to a medium heat I'm going to reduce to a medium heat sorry I lost that okay so I'm cooking on a medium heat right now and then this guy will click it will gonna alert me when it forms a vacuum system and in the next few minutes I want to turn it low and our food will be ready. Okay, so like I said, all these things are possible for you to do if you have the right kind of equipment, but I don't want you to worry about the equipment right now, okay? This might be a distraction for you, but I want you to just learn the culinary skills, understand how these decisions are made. You have to find a way to reduce how what I get in contact with your food and how you can maximize the nutrients in your food. Remember, I have shared two things on this video. The very first one is peeling. Peeling takes away over 50% of our food nutrients, and then the next one is cooking in water. You need to find a way to reduce how water gets in contact with your food. Okay, like what we've seen right now, we didn't wash the yam after cutting because those white things, you also need them. There are things you need. Yam has a lot of vitamins and minerals attached to it. It has the both flavine, vitamin B6, a whole lot of things. Take your time and study how yam works. The same yam that doctors have recommended that diabetic patients shouldn't eat, you can also eat them by the way I've cooked them. Remember, there is no high heat on this cooking process. It's quite a medium heat. And then when it clicks, I'll go on a low heat. Now, when I'm cooking this food, I'm not going to add salt. I'm not going to add salt to these yams. I'm going to enjoy the real flavor of this yam, everything intact. And then it is going to be a high glycemic, a low glycemic in this food because of how I am preparing the food. So guys, I want to thank you so much for holding on to this moment. Um, in the next few minutes, the yam will be ready and I'm going to show you. But I want you to also know that there's only one thing you can do to encourage me. First of all, is for you to subscribe to this channel and then share to your family and friends. And then I'm also open for consultations. If you need me to speak to your family through virtual calls, if you're in Lagos, I'm available to visit you at home any time of the day. This is what I do. I've been paid to do this. If you want me to come to your family's house and sit down and share how to do all of this. There's so much. Beyond what I'm cooking right now, I'm also going to show you how to make decisions when you want to buy cookware. Okay, I'm saying that Salad Master is the best. How did I come up with that decision? Okay, I'm going to show you how to check the pots, all the pots you have in your house, how to make decisions before you get to one. So I'm going to come to your house if you're available for that to show you how cookware either give you life or they take life away from you. So guys, we're just going to hold on for in the next two to three, four, five minutes and then this yam will be ready. I can't wait to test the yam. It's been a while I've eaten a good yam. Okay, so thank you and let's wait for a while. Okay, um, can you see that? Can you see that? It is clicking already. The cookware is clicking. It's calling my name. Obina, Obina, Obina. Okay, what is this cookware trying to tell me? It's trying to tell me that guy, this heat, is too much for me to cook. I have formed a vacuum system. You need to turn me low. You need to turn me to the low heat. And remember, you can imagine how much you're going to save when you cook your food on a low heat. So I'm going to just turn this low. Okay, once I turn low, it's going to just stop clicking. Can you see that? Can you imagine how much you would save on gas if you cook to this level of heat? And the truth is, if I'm cooking on this level of heat, the food will cook faster. 
Can, can you imagine that? Now, instead of when I'm in a hurry, I'm going to just increase my heat and then burn the food most times or destroy the nutrients in the food. I have to cook with this level of heat to not just protect the integrity of my food, but to also cook my food at the level of heat. Now, cooking happens from 86 degrees centigrade to 93. 96 okay and what you do from 100 degrees which is boiling you're destroying the nutrients of the food let's not worry about that i will explain all those on the next video but i want you to look at the level of heat i am cooking with this is amazing so salad master saves you time but at this point this year i will cook faster and at this point i'm also saving energy gas and then we're also reducing um, um the planet exchange trying to contribute to helping the world live better because we're using the level of heat to expose the world to okay whatever you need if you're so conscious about the world this is what you need to do this heat will save my money it will also save my time so at this point in the next few minutes the yam will be ready and we will enjoy our food okay the next click i will hear means that the food is ready and then we'll turn off the cooker and enjoy our food Thank you. Okay, um, so our, our yam is ready right now. So I need to get it out. We need to get our yam ready. So I have to just turn this off. So it's off right now. And then the only time you have to use rag in your kitchen is when you're cooking with other kinds of cookware. But this cookware has a one size fits all handle, which allows me to carry my cookware without being scared of hot. Okay, so. Let's look at the yam, by the way. Can you come close? Can you come close? Amazing. Okay, can you see that? Can you see that? The color is intact and it still has everything intact. Remember, I did not add salt to this yam. It is the way it is. So if you also want to have a physical experience of what I just did right now, I want you to fill the form on the description box and I'm going to book an appointment with you and then come to your family's house and show you more. That is so much more. What I'm showing you is just a bit of what you need to know about food and nutrition. That is so much, so much value that we share on this channel and so much value that I share with families that have come in contact with me. So today I've been able to explain to you how to avoid putting water into your food when it's not necessary. Apart from your whole grains, by the way, I know you're thinking, okay, how do I cook my rice? How do I cook my beans? Those ones require water, but you still need to know how to cook them. Okay, so there's so many things to learn. What I'm showing you is the latest in cooking technology matched with the latest in cooking method. So you need to know this is the latest in cooking technology. So understanding this technology is the way forward. We are 25 years ahead of our generation. Okay, we are moving the world forward. We're trying to help the world to be a better place. Remember all these things we've done right now. We didn't miss any gas. We've saved gas. We've saved so many things. We've also saved time. Okay, if, like, if not, I would tell you, it wouldn't be necessary putting you on the video for a long time while we watch the cookware. I can assure you that this yam did not cook up to 12 minutes. Okay, it didn't cook up to 12 minutes. It just happened in 7 to 8 minutes. That means I have cut down over 40, 60% of the time that I would have spent cooking this yam. And the color is intact. Everything is intact and it's going to look so nice and tasty when I start eating them. Okay, I'm so sure I'm going to eat on behalf of you guys and I'm sure I will also tell you how it tastes if you call me on phone. But for you to also have this experience, please, please, please fill the form on the description box and then let me come to your house and show you how you can maximize the nutrients in your food. So thank you so much for stopping by today again. I hope to see you next time, same place. By Saturday, by the way, we're going to be having Serap join us live on this same channel as we discuss how to start the 30 days challenge. Please, if you've not signed up for the 30 days challenge, try to find a way to sign up. Serap is coming with the band. Serap is coming with the future. Serap is coming to show us how to fight the COVID. She's here to show us how to fight diabetes, how to fight cancer, overweight. So many things we're going to talk about on the, um, on the 30 days challenge. So on Saturday, she'll do the intro part of it and explain to us how to prepare. And by next week, we will send the recipes out for those who have signed up for the challenge and how they can also participate. So thank you guys for coming today. I am super grateful. Thank you and have a nice evening. Bye.